imagine you are born with a cleft lip so your lip is separated and your palate is separated so it's in your face so that's the first thing people see a lot of people are very embarrassed that they have that second of all they get bullied because you look so different than other people you know normal people imagine that your palate is split you cannot eat or drink normally so you drink a cup of water and it comes out of your nose i mean that's horrible the way you talk you cannot talk because you don't have a palate people cannot understand you so you cannot express yourself either then your your future you don't see a future i mean who wants to marry somebody with that facial deformity you know and if you don't get married in guatemala you will not get children and having children is something so important in guatemala because that is the future so all of this together, it's very, very important that those people get the help they need. Tess Limited helps children born in Guatemala with a cleft lip and cleft palate. The philosophy of Tess Unlimited is to provide a total package to children born with a cleft lip and palate. That means we prepare the children for surgery in our milk program, we offer surgeries and we also do the aftercare, which is like speech therapy and other things. We find children in Guatemala born with a cleft lip and palate through other organizations, through hospitals, health centers, midwives and also when we do promotion through radio, television, newspapers and also the parents we already helped their children with the cleft lip and palate they tell other parents that they can come to us. Our milk project uh, in Tessa Limited is one of the most uh, important programs we have. About 95% of all children born with a cleft lip and palate are malnourished and because the palate and the lip is open and because they can't drink very well that's the that's the reason why they are malnourished and when they are malnourished they cannot have the surgery because when you want to have the surgery babies have to be at least three months old and they have to be 10 pounds about five kilos and about 95 percent of the children who enter our program are not having that weight so we have to provide them milk and we work with special feeding bottles which makes for them easier to drink. Most children are um, in our milk program for about six months, four months before they are getting surgery and also two months after surgery so they have time to recover. We see the children every single month, we travel to the different rural areas, we check them on weight, health and um, we work with different pediatricians in the different areas as well. We do really good uh, pre-op but also good follow-up with them. We have six surgery weeks every single year. So we have teams coming from the United States. We take uh, very good care that we have good surgeons coming to Guatemala. We check them that they have experience with cleft lip and palate also in the States. We also take care that the patients who are coming are completely fine, having a good weight, are healthy enough so that we can put the patients and the surgeons together to do as many surgeries as possible in that certain week. So two times a year we do a big evaluation in the different departments of Guatemala. In May we see a lot of new babies, newborn babies born with a cleft lip and palate. And in December it's more a checkup from all children who got surgery that year and the years before. So what we do is we travel through the different areas, we check all the patients, patients who got surgery, we do an exam for speech and if they need speech therapy we schedule them immediately for speech. We will see the new babies do exactly the same as in the milk program. We weigh them, we see how healthy they are, if they need milk they come in our milk program. We will provide the special feeding bottles. It's also a kind of having and giving the parents confidence that we are there always for them, that we do follow up, that they can count on us and just to have the relationship with them um, because it's, you know, it's a process what the children with a cleft lip and palate have to do. Like it's, 
they, they need different surgeries, they need speech therapy, sometimes they need dental work and that's why it's so important to see them at least twice a year. Tess Unlimited is a very small and solid organization and I think the strength of Tess Unlimited is that we have personal contact with our sponsors. We provide before and after pictures. We are very active on Facebook and Twitter. We send four times a year a newsletter and I think that the, the personal touch we have, I think that is what Tess Unlimited makes very strong. We still have a big waiting list with over 500 children who need to Surgery. So our goal for next year, 2017, is to provide surgery for over 220 children. And that's why we need you. Please go to tessalimited.com and consider to make a donation. Thank you so much.